I've talked about it, I've mentioned it, but we've never had a dedicated episode to inflammatory breast cancer until now. So uh, if you've heard my other stories, you know I was pregnant with our second child and as my pregnancy continued, my left breast um, began to change. That didn't really freak me out at first because when I was pregnant the first time, my breasts got a little bit bigger as I was anticipating um, the arrival of our little girl, right? I was gonna breastfeed, it all made sense to me. But this was a little early in the pregnancy for my breasts to be getting quite this big and my left one began to get quite a bit bigger than my right one. So the change in size, it, it, it wasn't symmetrical, right? My left breast looked a lot bigger. Like it had, it had trouble fitting in my bra at this point. Um, it was red. And if you look on a lot of websites describing inflammatory breast cancer, they're gonna talk about like an orange peel skin look. All right, so if you get really close to an orange, your breast doesn't become orange. But the way the skin dimples in and can even look a little bit shiny has happened with some people. Um, but this is what my skin began to look like. Okay, and it was thick like this. Like the skin itself felt really thick. And it just, it didn't look at all like my other breast anymore. It was super red, really inflamed, all right? It became sore. It hurt to touch. It hurt to put a bra on. It hurt to have anything laying against it. And with the breast getting so much bigger, then like my nipple began to get like kind of enveloped by the breast um and if you're going wow i don't see why you wouldn't think that's a problem here's the deal it looks so much like mastitis having a misdiagnosis for inflammatory breast cancer is incredibly common in fact i just recently read four other women's um, stories that were diagnosed with inflammatory and none of them were diagnosed correctly the first time i wasn't either all right. It was very much thought that I had mastitis and that was multiple doctors, multiple midwives looking at me and saying, yeah, yeah, it looks like mastitis. It became very clear for me that it wasn't mastitis as antibiotics, even IV antibiotics didn't do anything to clear up this infection. All right. But this idea that if you go to the doctor with the symptoms of inflammatory breast cancer, you're automatically going to walk out with a correct diagnosis needs to be expelled. There's just not enough people that are super familiar with how inflammatory presents. But this makes sense, right? Unless you're Dr. House, you're not always looking for that weird diagnosis. You're, you're looking at the symptoms and what it probably is, is what it probably is. And it probably is mastitis um, in a fair percentage of the time that people show up with those symptoms. However, Inflammatory is really important to have diagnosed. So I will go back to something I've made another video about, and that's about being your best advocate. If the diagnosis you get for some reason doesn't fit what you feel, what the symptoms are presenting as to you, get a second opinion, get a third opinion if you need to. Because with inflammatory breast cancer, it is aggressive and it moves quickly. By the time it was found for me, I had stage four cancer it already spread to my lymph nodes and to my liver. So you don't really have a lot of time to mess around with inflammatory breast cancer. So know the symptoms. If something's weird with your breast, chat with your doctor, do your own research, be smart about the resources that you look at, know how stuff presents, and then go in with a good uh, set of questions that you can ask. Go in well informed, because at the end of the day, this is your life. And if you so happen to wind up with inflammatory breast cancer, you need to move quickly with what you're going to do next. So if your breast looks different, if it's bigger, if you get this orange type skin pattern thing going on, if it's sore, if you have a lump, if something just doesn't seem right, then go get checked out. 